Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, a couple nice days, so I had to get uh, working on the well a little bit. I got the trench dug all the way. I had 140 feet to get to the house. And I have it very roughly backfilled. And I've got one line going into the house to the tank and this other line here I think you can see it that one I've got a trench over and hook into the barn water so I've got another oh I think 250 feet or so to trench that way um, but that's not super critical right now we're getting okay rain so the animals aren't in distress at all um, but this trench is done and I popped into the house down there I had to get through a stacked stone foundation to get the line in there and that kind of looked like this outside wall And it was just over two feet thick, so it was a bear to get through, and I had a lot of patching to do. But um, we're in, and that gives you a look at the devastation there that had to take place to get this guy in there. But um, I haven't been slacking off on projects, been making things happen, and we'll go in the barn and take a look, see what's going on. Okay, here's Scott's 258 out of his scrambler. Uh, frame is completely disassembled, uh, waiting to be sandblasted. The axles are back there as well, waiting to be sandblasted as well, so I can start tearing into those. Uh, this motor, uh, spark plugs didn't look great, but um, it is free, you know, it's spinning, so that's a good thing. And I'll get into that shortly. Um, sandblasting we're getting into some good weather now and like I said I got a guy helping me so that's not going so bad and here's another engine this is John's MB engine I'll try and zoom you in there this has a very big crack um, probably about three inches long common place from the crack on your distributor um, but here is what his engine looks like inside uh, this was probably the worst cylinder head I ever had to take off an engine um, it took me almost half a day to get that cylinder head off uh, very 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 difficult I didn't want to use any heat but um, it, it fought me every bit of the way and then when I got it off you can see this is just a disaster uh, these two pistons are stuck I imagine they're all stuck the valves are completely kind of morphed into part of the block there um, this is what engines are coming in like now and it makes for very difficult rebuilds I've been soaking these studs for a few days um, uh, yeah I don't know hopefully they'll come out I'm sure that it's gonna be a bear and there's a lot of broken bolts still to deal with on this engine uh, things like the water pump the fuel pump stuff like that it's just crazy how many bolts are broken on this engine but uh, I'm going to try and get the studs out next and uh, just keep up with the engines that are coming through here. Uh, here is a sandblasted Dana 30 I'm working on. Pile of parts that go with John's engine. Scott's uh, 999 automatic. And we won't make a mistake again on sending that one out. This is going to a local guy. Uh, for rebuild or open it up and see what it looks like in there at least and then I'll go through the 300 transfer case and 
And if we move on, I have Mark's stuff going back together. Transfer case is clean. I've got a new T T90 case for him. So his stuff is going back together. Pile of new parts in there. And um, everything is ready to go. Okay guys, we're just peeking in this trailer where that cutaway Jeep is living right now. That is leaving on Saturday, I believe, the 15th. I don't know, I think the 15th of October. That's getting picked up. I'm going to try and get you guys some photos of that in the sunlight so you can see it. And I just got to move a couple things to get that out on Saturday. And that will be going. And somewhere in this camera I have photos of the Pantera that got finished up that left and when I find the photos on this memory card I will uh, put them on this video now the paint booth only has a couple little things in it that I gotta paint so uh, next Jeep in to be painted is Tom's CJ3A. Uh, I guess, I think, I think today's Tuesday. So I think sometime this week or next week I'm going to get Tom's Jeep in here, get the body fit, and uh, start painting that guy. So there's always uh, something going on, and I'll take you along and show you as it happens. Okay guys, uh, this video kind of went all over the place. Sorry about that. There's just so much going on in the shop. Uh, this is uh, Mark's uh, T90. I was able to rebuild his uh, with a new old stock case. And I went into my supply of new old stock gears. And he has a 100% new old stock rebuilt transmission uh, his original case these ears were busted off and I was worried that the cover wouldn't seal down and I didn't want to have any leaks there or anything so I got a new old stock case for you Mark all new old stock gears and shafts and everything so that's good uh, transfer case is going to happen next and I am slowly making progress on your engine as well we are missing uh, the shoes and all the adjusting stuff for your e-brake. Uh, I'll have to get that for you and some various other parts, but uh, things are coming along. And if we come over here, this is Hal's uh, T90 Dana 18 and Advanced Adapters Overdrive. And that is painted now. I am getting ready to attach it to his engine, get it in the test stand, and get him running hopefully sometime next week. So I'm going to quit this one here, and uh, I'll try and put up those pictures of the Pantera for you guys to take a peek at. And hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.